Today I'm be showing you how to play and how to win at Azoa. You like so you're gonna have to find somebody in an early town and at least get the first rank of becoming an apprentice before you can play somebody at least the level of expert. Then you have to rank up before you can play somebody at master. But let's get into how to play and how to win. So the first thing you want to do is edit your deck and remove all the berserkers. You want 15 to 16 cards. Uh, make sure you have all your level 5s, level 3s. Take all your high level cards and put them in. So we get 4 pieces to choose from. Increase the attack of your adjacent pawns. You want to hold off on that. Don't place that as an early card. Now we have an elite and a soldier. So our soldier lets us place uh, an additional pawn once we place three but we're going to place this one since it does double attack value this one reduces MP which is a bar right next to the health bar they don't have any of these lit up bars yet so we're gonna place this somewhere in the middle where we can still place more around it It attacked once because it said it attacks for its value when you place it on the board okay. and attacked again because it's the end of the turn. Everything you have will attack again at the end of its turn. So we're going to hold off on this increasing value. This one when we place it it gains one more MP than others. So that is good at the beginning. We'll place this at least one place off from our other pawns. Now we can place this one. This will reduce the opponent's MP by two. And we'll still try to get this spot here. But if we place it here, then we have this spot available and this spot available to increase as well. So we'll try going for this one right here. Not bad. Now your opponent is going to have ways to reduce your MP as well. So if you're using the flame charge, which is an excellent one to use, use it at the beginning of the round. That just took 200 life off of them. And now we'll take one of our massive ones that increases the value of all the adjacent ones. And we'll place it in the middle of three different pawns, increasing all their values by 40. That's 160 more that we're gonna hit for every turn. Not bad. And now we can take our wizard, which reduces the opponent's MP by two, and we'll spread this one out just a little bit as well in case we get another one. Now we have pretty basic uh, ones, so we'll just put this one on the board. Doesn't really make a difference because we're already winning by a lot. We'll kind of try to block where they could get bonuses at this point. And we'll just do the same thing right here. If you have any questions, ask and I'll answer them for you. We have now reached the higher rank of being expert. As you beat higher ranks, you will become that rank. As you beat players, you'll also get their pawn. So he's going to give me an Aston. So once you get that new one from beating a player, do edit your deck, take out one of your weaker pawns and put that one in its place.